Hello, Jim Zwiers. Hello, Lynn. Thank you for coming to uh, your webcam today and uh, doing a talk with me uh, via our fancy webcams. I appreciate that. Um, I know there's a lot going on, and I know that you have, as you know in my heart, one of the best schools around, Clearwater Academy International, where you are the head of school. And I can only imagine that these were unprecedented challenges that you faced for your staff, for you, uh, for all the parents and the families. And it's a very close-knit group, your group. So why don't you tell us a few things? No, for sure. So now what are we, we're, we're about 10 days into this officially. And for us and our families, it was a little bit, uh, it's a little longer because we had, we actually had our spring break a little earlier than most of the county. Right. We had our spring break and then we had, you know, the, the coronavirus shut down, right? So it's almost like for our, some of our families have been like, you know, kids at home for a whole week longer. We've been flat out on um, delivering to our students through um, online solutions and homework programs and different things like that. Really, the thing has been uh, just sort of adjusting what we do to, you know, a distance learning situation, right? We're just, it's the same as, you know, math isn't changing, right? <laughs> Reading isn't changing, it's true. that's changing. It's just the distance between the teacher and the student is changing. Yeah. So that's kind of what we're coping with. Um, uh, and so it's going to be kind of be great. Like yeah, yesterday or what is this? Monday we had a you know staff meeting with thirty five people all online. It was real great. It looked like a looked like the extended Brady Bunch. And then um, yeah, and then and then right off right after we finished our staff meeting, you know teachers were jumping off their students and I had preschoolers and kindergartners doing group video sessions and stuff like that. It's been really really exciting to see how everybody's just jumping in and and getting done what needs to be done. You know what's really cool about that too? I was thinking of the mom who maybe just during her course of her life doesn't have to use a lot of technology. And now, you know, it kind of like a, it may have started as an ice water dip, but I think going forward, we're going to learn that, you know, it really isn't so daunting or hard to get into. And who knows what the future will bring. We, we clearly have been tested uh, to, yeah put things online and, and trust the cloud, or, you know, whatever, whatever we may have had little like fears or stops. I think it's so exciting too on another front where all these people are just finding the time to be more philanthropic with their skills. That company that does the uh, language training that starts with an R, they are like offering stuff for free. You know, yeah. so if you have time on your hands and you wanted to learn Italian, you can do that now. Yep. I mean, a couple of different things. First of all, like, how great are people? You know, honestly, like, you know, everybody's like, oh, it's Armageddon, it's gonna be terrible, it's looting in the streets. Nope. People are being civilized, they're helping each other out, they're doing what needs to be done, they're being cooperative. It's just like, I mean, people are just great. I love it. I know. <laughs> but, it, but it's so true. Like, it's like, People are just cool. Like, you know, it's so funny. Like, I mean, I, I travel a lot, right? So, so one of the things is always like, oh, this place is dangerous. Oh, be careful here and stuff like that. And yeah, you know, you don't want to be stupid. You don't want to be like having yeah. it hanging out of your pocket and stuff like that. But at the same time, like, as of this trip, right, I've been to 56 different countries. And I've only been, like, I would say attacked or tried to be robbed twice. And one of those was in America. Okay, it's right. So no, one yeah. was in America, and one of and, and one was in, in in Rome, but that was like not a big deal. It was like yeah. easily avoided situation. But that's like fifty six countries where nothing but good stuff happened to me. And you know what? Even though that happened in Rome, there's no way you would take that trip away. Like the beauty of Rome, the antiquities. Yeah. It's like an outdoor museum. So what country were you in recently? I was in India, the Maldives Islands, and Sri Lanka. It was two weeks. Um, I was on the ground for 10 days, and during that time, I did uh, nine seminars. Wow. Um, yeah, I spoke at three different universities, spoke to a couple parenting groups, spoke to some schools, spoke to students, spoke to educators, all, all, the, all different audiences. It was pretty fun. And you know what you said at the end? People are great. People are great. Did you find any cultural differences that maybe you were able to impart to them that maybe was like data they had that was to the contrary, that was in a good a good light for like either America or? So I've spoken specifically on parenting 
uh, in these countries, in Sweden, Denmark, I had seminars there on that a couple of years ago, in China, all over the U.S., different places. And, and you know, the, the remarkable similarity that parents have with their children is uncanny. You know, it is the same problems everywhere. How do I get my kid to eat? How do I get him to, you know, how do I get him to like get up in the morning? So I was in, in the Maldives Islands and the Maldives Islands are like a, a Muslim country, right? Like, like I'm talking about like a Muslim government. Okay. So Maldives Islands, gorgeous, gorgeous islands. It's a collection of, I don't know, hundreds of islands. I don't know how many. Um, at each, and so there's a couple main islands where all the city and government and stuff is. And then there's all these remote islands, and on all these remote islands, you have to take a boat or a, like a seaplane to get to them. And those are resorts. So on those resorts, you've got like a Hilton resort, and they, they own the whole island. Gotcha. You've got another resort, and they own the whole island, right? And on, but on the main part of the country, like the first thing when, you, when you're coming into the country, there's restrictions that you can't bring in alcohol because it's a Muslim country. You can't bring in pork products. You can't bring in. Um, uh, I mean, drugs. Drugs are highly forbidden. Like, like, like when I went into, into Sri Lanka, there was a sign there that said, like, if you are importing drugs, you are subject to the death penalty. You know, like, whoa, okay, this is this is like serious this business. Is yeah, but then anyway, so you're going to Maldives Island, and and then on these little islands where the resorts are, they have leniency. You can drink and stuff like that on the resorts, but not in the main city, or whatever. But anyway, so it's Muslim country, very different culture, very different history, very different this. I do this parenting seminar. Like, how do I get my kid off the phone? How do I get him to bed? How do I, like, like literally, like they could be a, a, a you know a bunch of Americans. It was so funny, but um, but but at the same time, I will say of all the traveling I've done, this was the probably the most different hmm. in terms of culture. Yeah, like, particularly with India and Sri Lanka, very like India, very Hindu Hindu based, and so many temples and so many mind like. Uh, like religious idols around and just you I mean like 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 you can go to Europe and be like okay it's a different language the food's a bit different you know but you know as, as an American you kind of get around you you know you yeah. go to like these countries you are you are in a different country no it kidding very different you told me you had a really good uh, tour guide uh, for lack of a better word your 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 host guy yeah my host yeah yeah and and you know one of the things you said to me was, and I, I really wanted people to hear this, he told you that, and I might paraphrase it so you can correct it, but that his job and what he wanted was for you to love his country to the point where you didn't want to leave or you wanted to come back. Minimally, you wanted to come back. Yeah, absolutely. Now, just to correct you, it was, it was a woman. It was a woman, and sorry. A woman, yes. Yeah, uh, Bravani Sundar. She, she owns two... Um, educational facilities. They use um, study technology similar to what we use at Clearwater Academy. And she has a center in Sri Lanka, which is an island. It used to be called Ceylon, Ceylon, and now it's called Sri Lanka. That's the traditional name. And then she has another one on the um, uh, on the east coast of, of India. So she has these two, these two study centers. And so she, she had invited me there. She had organized the different lectures and seminars and and was the most amazing host ever right? wow so as soon as soon as i landed you know she's arranging all my transportation she's arranging all my hotels arranging all my meals like taking me sightseeing like from morning to night you know you also said that uh she made sure that you even she even made sure that you had your souvenirs yeah, like she, like every time we were, I, I felt like a child, I felt like when your grandmother takes you out someplace and she's like, hey, you want this? You want one of these? You want one of these? Like, like every time we went, she was like buying me stuff, which was so sweet. How yeah, cute. This thing, this is my uh, my Ganesh uh, Hindu idol. So this is Ganesh, the wow. uh, son, son of Shiva, uh, the, the main god. And he is, uh, there's a whole story about him, but he's the, he's like the god of goodwill or like good fortune. So if you're asking for something and you're gonna pray to a God, you'll usually pray to him first to kind of like kind of grease the wheels a bit and make sure you're, like, you're, you're in a good situation, you know? And then then, then go to the main God and just you know. When in doubt, go to Ganesh. So exactly, exactly. <laughs> so so tell me also, you know, uh, I know that you were uh, doing a big thing recently with Ukraine. You you canceled your trip, you didn't go, you did it all via 
uh, webcams and such. How did that go, and how how was the attendance? Yeah, so um, so like one of the things I do, you know, one of one, sort of one of my missions in life is to really um, reinvent education on a, on a large scale. So uh, Clear Academy has been a great sort of a laboratory where we've been able to um, pilot and innovate a lot of educational techniques and such, um, and. You know, so I get um, I get the opportunity to kind of share our, a lot of our successful actions around the world with other educators and stuff. And that's, that's really my favorite audience. I love to talk to other educators. And um, so uh, in Ukraine uh, last year, I, I did do that. I got a chance to speak to a lot, a lot of different people over there. I was there in June, spoke to a bunch of educational groups, uh, and, and then went back in October, uh, spoke to more educators at that trip. And then and this and this what happened what happened recently was wasn't so much um, uh, a planned trip or something but but uh, we did do sort of a, some online live streaming with a group in Ukraine there uh, English Prime which is uh, a very very large English as a second language training program um, nice centered, centered in Kiev Ukraine so we did a, a live stream last week and it was really popular we had about I don't know over a thousand people on it wow. And, yeah, Jim. It was, it was yeah, it was like my people, their people, and like it was pretty cool. So that all the fun. great people, all the great people, all the best people. So that was fun to kind of uh, did that. We did that through Instagram, um, and so we did that. And we just did another one um, an hour ago. We did another seminar. I don't I don't know how many people were on it. The the first one was more you know, sort of more general. Hey, what's going on? It was kind of like more, more for their audience in terms of what's going on in America, what's going on in Europe, and just kind of talking about the news. And it's fun too because I have a lot of people now from India and Sri Lanka who now follow me on Facebook and Instagram too. So so it's like this cool. Nice. Kind of cool. Yeah. Yeah. And then today was kind of cool because just just because just to have fun because there's so much. Um, you know, there's so much seriousness or, and then just exaggerate it's heavy and it's heavy you know there are people who are just going to be very negative and there's nothing we can do and my life is ruined now and then there are those who are going to say what opportunities is this creating for us how do we how do we take advantage of those opportunities and how do we come out of this stronger than we were before and yes. i think that's that's something for all of us to kind of keep in mind like Yes, there's, there's some weird, tough challenges, but at the same time, there's also opportunities that are that are popping up. So we got to kind of keep alert for those things. And that's right. And you're not going to be alert to it if you're in the doldrums and you're like gloom and doom. And there, there's no way a person can create through that. So, you know, step one, if you ask me, is like take a walk, you know, right. count your blessings, do all those things that your mom and your grandma told you and concentrate on what's important. So then calm yourself down and then look at it as an opportunity. And we are in a changing world. It, It's never staying the same. So, you know? No, get used to, get used to change because it's the only constant, right? That's right. It's the only constant. But you're always so upbeat. What's your secret? Oh, you're very sweet. I really had a good mom. I had a good mom who embraced and acknowledged and really fostered uh, being kind and being friendly and it's much easier to smile than be, you know, puss faced as yeah. she would call it. And um, and I feel better. I feel younger and I feel happier when I'm smiling. So thank you for that. Yeah, sure, sure. So um, people are great, Mr. Mr. Zwier. So tell me about your book because I'm putting you on the spot, but I want to know about your book. Yeah. So I wrote this a little, little bit ago. Um, it's called Blazing Your Path Through Life, and it's available on Amazon. So what it is, is it's a collection of sort of speeches and essays that I've given over the years and kind of compiled into a single thing. And it's um, all different subjects about, um, uh, you know, kind of motivational stuff, uh, things, you know, viewpoint of life, again, positivity, different things like this. And the idea is to be read sort of in a linear way, but sort of like, maybe jump around on different topics and different subjects depending on what you're in the mood for and such like that. Nice! Um, yeah, and you're talking about moms, you know, one of the chapters in here, let me see how it's titled, yeah, uh, Five Gifts from My Mother. I okay, love so it! it was, yes, it was, a, it, was a, um, it was a time I was giving a talk and I knew my mom was in the audience and I did this as a sort of honor to her, five important lessons that I learned from her. 
and definitely, you know, one of them was uh, that that kind of positivity, you know, uh, like that that was sort of like a, a no complaining me- viewpoint, no complaining mentality, and uh, definitely like a you know, my mom was such a such a big influence on me. And it, um, yes, yeah, so this is kind of like a, that one chapter sort of a tribute to her, you know. It's beautiful. Good job. Yeah. See, and she she raised a good boy that actually knew that he should acknowledge his mom. So there you yeah, go. Absolutely.